Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got uh, what should be an intriguing one and uh, this is from the Coach House Brewing Company over in Warrington, which is fairly close to me. Um, I think that's like where the nearest IKEA is to us and uh, Toys R Us. They've got a Toys R Us there in the like, industrial part and they've got loads of like, offices and that sort of stuff. Of course, I've got like a city centre, which I've been to a few times. But um, yeah, I was very surprised to see that they've also got a brewery there. Probably got a few, actually. Um, it's just amazing how you stumble across these beers and you look at where they're based and you're like, oh, okay, interesting. And it just you know, makes you want to go out and check them even more. But today, we are looking at the Cl uh, Blueberry Classic Bitter which is clocking in at 5%. I'll quickly read you the little spiel it says on the side of the bottle. This beer is brewed using traditional Marisota barley grown in Yorkshire and floor malted especially for us by James Fawcett. The hops are grown for us by Jeff Thompson in the Vale of Evansham in Worcestershire. Fresh blueberries and natural blueberry flavouring are added during the brewing process to produce a slightly sweet beer with a clean and exciting taste of blueberries. The aroma is slightly hoppy and distinctly fruity. So it sounds good. Um, don't know when it mentions blueberry, blueberry flavourings, whether that's again another all natural product. I mean it says, um, where does it say, D -d 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 natural blueberry flavouring. I'm not too sure what that would be. But uh, yeah, I love blueberries. It's one of the very few fruits that I do actually like to eat. And uh, yeah, this has just got that, it, you know, it's got that look and feel of a classic, you know, micro brewery, real ale. You know, get it out properly, Pete. But yeah, nice looking artwork, nice and simple. And then you've got a nice blue, purpley crown. So uh, yeah, hopefully you get a lot of blueberries in this one. So not too much in terms of cat and smoke, but we shall pour it into the glass. And I'm getting that blueberry smell already, but that is pouring very, very clear. So in the glass, uh, really nice clarity to it. Not the most carbonated beer that I've uh, seen. Uh, he says as he just tilts his glass from side to side without actually swizzling the beer. Um, but yeah, when you do get a head, I've managed to generate about one small finger's worth of fluffy white head. But uh, yeah, it's got a nice sort of copper colour to it, almost like a slight Heller's look. But we shall see what it smells like. Ooh, you definitely get those blueberries in there. Almost like if they've got like a blueberry sort of like mawam or chew it sort of aroma. You know, you get that sort of... It's like a blend of like actual blueberries and then a blueberry flavouring. Yeah, like a blueberry sweet. That's what I'm getting there. Yeah, like a refreshers bar or a, a wham bar, but with blueberry flavouring. Smells lovely. It works really well with that classic like bitter aroma. Those malts are really nicely incorporated. I mean the blueberry is the star of the show. And you get a natural side but you also get that slightly almost synthetic side. But it smells good no matter what. Hopefully we can pick up the blueberries in the flavour as much as the aroma. Cheers. Ooh. That's really nice, actually. Um, it tastes like you've added blueberries to it, like maybe a, a blueberry juice, like freshly squeezed, and you've blended it with the beer. Get a slight sherbet feel to it as well. A hint of aniseed or licorice. I definitely get the hops on the bittering side. It's not really a hoppy bitter, but just like the aroma, it's like it, it tastes like you've been chewing like a chew it's or a really 
you know, one of those sweets that gets all stuck in your teeth and it's going to rip your teeth out when you try and get it free. But, um, yeah, I don't think this could be for everyone. But if you like your blueberries and you don't want, like, a blueberry cider or something like that and you want it infused with the beer, um, I think this one works. The only thing that's niggling at me is blueberry natural blueberry flavorings um i don't know really what that means or what they've used whether it's like a compound or if it's like being actually extracted from blueberries but the fact that they've used blueberries in there you do detect that but then you get this slight synthetic flavor to it very subtle you know it's not like 100 percent fake blueberry flavor um, like some flavoured beers would do. But it's just gentle enough, but it takes over the rest of the beer in a good way. But maybe like a hint of like a slight grapefruit in there mixing with that blueberry. But yeah, I like that. Um, it's just in the back of my mind, I'm like... Please don't let this be completely synthetic, because it has a very slight feel of that. But all in all, a very drinkable beer. Um, very sessionable, crisp, clean, what you'd expect with a bitter. Nice bittering on the back end. But um, yeah, very pleasantly surprised at how those blueberries have been incorporated. And uh, yeah, if I saw it again, I'd definitely pick up another bottle of this one. And I'd be interested to see if they do any other sort of similar ones, because I've not really seen a blueberry classic bitter before. So as soon as I saw that and the fact that I love blueberries, I had to pick it up. And uh, yeah, thankfully it doesn't uh, disappoint, except for the whole flavouring aspect. But in terms of a rating, that to me is a very solid 8 out of 10. Uh, a finely crafted beer, and I will definitely be making an effort to check out more beers from these guys. So if you've tried this one, or if you've tried any of the other beers from this brewery, let me know what you think down below. What are some of your favourite blueberry infused or brewed beers out there, or even ciders? Give me some nice, you know, organic uh, blueberry ciders. And uh, yeah, of course I'll be putting the usual stuff down below. So you can check these guys out for yourself. And uh, yeah, another very solid beer. I'm soon to be having a good run of beers back in England. So um, yeah, definitely going to demolish this beer right now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheers.